Hi, in this video we're going to be looking at how the body regulates oxygen and carbon dioxide levels in blood. There is more content, quizzes and past papers on the website which is www.elevise.co.uk. The human body has receptors in the brain and other parts of our bodies that monitor the concentration of oxygen and carbon dioxide in our bloodstream. When the brain notices a change in the concentration of carbon dioxide and oxygen in the bloodstream, it sends nerve impulses to the diaphragm, which causes the diaphragm to act accordingly. An example of when the concentration of oxygen and carbon dioxide in the bloodstream changes would be when we exercise. When we exercise, the cells in our bodies, especially muscle cells, are using a greater quantity of oxygen for respiration compared to the quantity of oxygen that they would use if they were in rest. Also, as more respiration reactions are taking place, this means that more carbon dioxide is going to be produced and the carbon dioxide is going to enter into the bloodstream. So, exercising causes the concentration of oxygen in the bloodstream to fall and the concentration of carbon dioxide in the bloodstream to rise. The brain notices these changes and it responds by sending nerve impulses to the diaphragm and intercostal muscles, telling them to both increase the breathing rate and to increase the quantity of air that's breathed in. This results in the concentration of oxygen and carbon dioxide in the bloodstream changing. The brain and other areas in the body are constantly monitoring the concentrations of oxygen and carbon dioxide in the bloodstream, and they are constantly making changes to the diaphragm and intercostal muscles to ensure that there is sufficient oxygen in the bloodstream. This brings us to the end of this video. For more content, quizzes and past papers, go onto the website which is www.elevise.co.uk.